I asked for something lyrical, you know. There was something about that swastika, man. You put a swastika on your flag? Yeah, I mean, it was the Tibetan swastika, not the Nazi swastika. It's one of the most ancient Tibetan symbols, man. This was weird, you know. I said, well, it's not what I expected, but it's powerful, man. So I said, can I see what kind of material you'd put into this? He said, sure, man, yeah. So we went to another part of the loft, you know. And here's the thing, Wally. Really, in this loft, all there were were the flags on the wall and two tables. On one table was the design, on the other table was the material. So we went and looked at the material, you know, and I said, well, it's Superman. And he showed me how the colors would go against each other. And, and I said, can I see this against the design? Yeah, man, sure. So we went back to the first table and the design was gone, man. I mean, we searched the entire loft, man, top to bottom. I never found it. Disappeared. Did you spark my tea? Uh huh. Okay. So I was spending the summer on Long Island when I heard about this community in Scotland called Findhorn, where people sang and talked and meditated with plants, man. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was founded by English and Scottish eccentrics, crazy dudes, man, and 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 some of them intellectuals, you know, and some of them, some of them not. And I heard that they that they grew things in soil that supposedly nothing could grow in because it's almost beach soil, you know, and that, that they grow these huge cabbages, the largest cauliflowers in the world, man. If there are insects bothering their plants, they will go and talk to the insects and make an agreement in which they'll set aside a special patch of vegetables so the insects will leave the main part alone, man. And then things like the ice walks, the stove, the car, well, they all have names, man. <laughs> and since you wouldn't treat Helen the ice box with any less respect than you would Margaret, your wife, you gotta make sure that Helen is as clean as Margaret, that they're treated with the same kind of respect, man. I love it. You know, man, it's, it's, I mean, it's like they've invented this new kind of magic. Yeah, man. I mean, I remember being in the woods and looking at a leaf and actually seeing that thing that was alive in that leaf it just blasted me open, man. I mean, when it came out of Finhorn, I was hallucinating nonstop, you know. I could see clouds, creatures, and people in the airplane all had animals' faces, and I was on a trip, man. Did you spike my tea? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. It was... It was like being in a William Blake world suddenly, you know, things were exploding and then, and, and that's weird. I could swear you spiked my team, man.